AI is still taking the world by storm. In some of our previous videos, we covered how artificial intelligence is transforming the world as we know it, and how you can invest in the AI revolution. Well, since then, the AI landscape has drastically changed. CEOs are announcing job cuts as they replace thousands of roles with artificial intelligence. Elon Musk has been more vocal about its risk to society. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman pleaded with Congress to create strict regulation to govern AI. And Google's head of AI quit his job to warn about the dangers of this new technology. It seems like it's all crumbling down. But could the AI revolution really be coming to an end? Let's take a look. We all presume that AI will eventually cause dramatic job disruption. But we don't really know how soon or how many jobs will be replaced. According to the World Economic Forum, AI will replace 85 million jobs globally by 2025. While 85 million is a staggering number to accomplish as soon as 2025, we're already seeing large technology companies reducing their headcounts in search of efficiency and cost reduction after going on a hiring spree during the pandemic. IBM, for instance, is looking to cut down hiring for roles that could be replaced with AI. IBM CEO Arvind Krishna said he plans to use AI to replace 30% of back office jobs at the company. These 26,000 non-consumer facing jobs include functions such as HR. Krishna expects AI to impact at least 7,800 jobs at IBM over the next five years. His comments validate the claims that AI can reduce support jobs and hence costs for the company. It also sets the precedent for other companies to look for similar opportunities in their support functions. According to Krishna, IBM is specifically planning to automate mundane tasks such as employee verification or moving employees from one department to the other, while other tasks such as measuring productivity will remain relevant for the next decade. Some analysts believe that we're long overdue for mundane tasks to be replaced by AI since the first roles that are likely to be impacted globally don't require human intelligence, AI will take over roles that only require accessing information and completing simple transactions, not jobs that require analysis and judgment. Estimates predict that while AI will replace millions of jobs, AI might coincidentally create 97 million new roles. But these jobs won't be the same as the ones being lost. In this case, it will push the workforce to be realigned and trained with more relevant skill sets. While much work is being done to embrace AI at the world's leading tech organizations, one powerful pioneer in the AI space is taking a step back. Jeffrey Hinton, the renowned researcher and godfather of AI, quit his high-profile job at Google recently so he could speak freely about the serious risks that he now believes may accompany the artificial intelligence technology he helped usher in. Jeffrey Hinton is a VP and engineering fellow at Google and a pioneer of deep learning who developed some of the most important techniques at the heart of modern AI. In May of 2023, after 10 years with the company, he stepped down to warn against the risk of human extinction from AI. In his first public remarks at MIT's AI conference, he offered some pretty dark cautions. When asked about worst case scenarios, Hinton replied, I think it's quite conceivable that humanity is just a passing phase in the evolution of intelligence. He admitted that he and other AI creators have essentially created an immortal form of digital intelligence that could soon overtake the level of information that a human brain holds and possibly grow out of control. Currently, AI has an approximate IQ of about 80 or 90, but developers could conceivably raise that to an IQ of 210. That's more intelligent than only a handful of humans on the planet. Hinton, who admitted that he has regrets over his life's work, is startled by AI's ability to do simple reasoning. The rapid pace of which AI is advancing is surpassing even the most ambitious expectations of many experts in the field. He believes that there is significant potential for AI to become much smarter than humans, allowing it to excel at manipulation and pose a serious threat in a variety of ways. If AI continues on its trajectory and surpasses human intelligence, he said, it could become extremely difficult if not impossible, to control. It may keep us around for a while to keep the power stations running, but after that, um, maybe not. So the good news is we figured out how to build beings that are immortal. Um, so 
We've got immortality, but it's not for us. Elon Musk, who recently admitted, I, I, I am the reason OpenAI exists, has also been warning about AI's risks to society. We've previously covered Elon Musk's involvement in the AI race and his early investment in OpenAI. In more recent times, he's made the case for OpenAI to operate as an open source company and not one being bought and influenced by the likes of Microsoft. Even still, Musk believes that AI is a fundamental risk to the existence of human civilization. But it's also the greatest opportunity we've ever had. Elon isn't alone in voicing his concern over our need for guardrails. The Center for AI Safety recently released a statement in which top AI researchers and CEOs warn against the risk of extinction. The Center for AI Safety's stated purpose is to equip policymakers, business leaders, and the broader world with the understanding and tools necessary to manage AI risk. They note that AI risk has emerged as a global priority, and despite its importance, AI safety remains remarkably neglected, outpaced by the rapid rate of AI development, leaving society ill-prepared to manage the risks from AI. To begin the discussion, the organization released a concise statement with signatures from notable figures, including Jeffrey Hinton, Sam Altman, and Bill Gates. The statement reads, mitigating the risk of extinction from AI should be a global priority alongside other societal scale risks, such as pandemics and nuclear war. The U.S. government clearly heeded these warnings as Congress hosted a hearing on creating rules for artificial intelligence. In this subcommittee meeting, one lawmaker suggested that Congress should take lessons from the emergence of social media and act soon on AI. The main issues that senators discussed were AI's imminent job disruption and the threat of mass information and impersonation. Jeffrey Hinton has similar concerns. Obviously, there are many ways in which AI will make things better for companies and even workers who will benefit from its ability to churn out letters and respond to large volumes of emails. However, Hinton is more worried that those increases in productivity are going to put people out of work and make the rich richer and the poor poorer. As the gap widens, he fears that society will become more violent. Another concern of Hinton's, he said, is the potential for humans with malicious intent to misuse AI technology for their own purposes, such as making weapons, inciting violence, or manipulating elections. While speaking to the Senate, Sam Altman advised that a strong regulatory intervention would be critical to mitigate the risks of these increasingly powerful models. Eventually, he believes that we'll need an international agency for AI oversight, similar to the current setup for nuclear energy. Hinton realizes that Google, Microsoft, and other developers of AI platforms designed for the general public are living in an economically competitive world where if they don't develop it, somebody else will. He also notes that he used to think AI's existential risk was way off. Now, however, he takes it very seriously and believes it to be very close. It might be quite sensible to just stop developing these things any further, Hinton said. But I think it's completely naive to think that that would happen. Even if the U.S. stops developing it, the Chinese won't. They're going to be used in weapons. And just for that reason alone, governments aren't going to stop developing. The Biden administration is set to roll out a new set of actions aimed at promoting responsible innovation in artificial intelligence while protecting the rights and safety of Americans. A senior administration official said managing the risks of AI is at the core of the new effort, given the threat it poses to a broad array of applications. Those include hacking into autonomous vehicles and other AI-driven entities, risks to privacy such as real-time surveillance, and the potential for job displacement from automation. Ultimately, the godfather of AI himself admits that it's possible he's totally wrong about digital intelligence overtaking us, stating, nobody really knows, which is why we should worry now. By now, it's clear that we haven't seen the end of the AI revolution. If anything, it's only just beginning. So tell us, what concerns do you have about artificial intelligence? Are you afraid that AI will spiral out of control? Leave a comment below. And as always, make sure to like this video and subscribe to stay in the loop on the latest developments in the AI landscape. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.